In theory, the tenant farmers were to be compensated for the crops they harvested and picked. In reality, that was rarely the case. The system of sharecropping formed shortly after the Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation freed Southern slaves. From the end of the war up until the late 1890s, Southern states had no official public policy on labor or where African Americans should fall in the labor system. Southern farmers were in desperate need of a new society of agricultural earnings that didn't include free labor. Northern workers were fearful of competition with newly freed slaves for work and Northern capitalists saw the need for continued cotton production. As a result, African Americans, along with the poor, were coerced virtually into re-enslavement.